Augustine working on the Roy throughout quarantine. He has been putting in some work with it, maybe inspired a little bit by riddles, as most of Ontario has been. Anyways, game one here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, it looks a lot brighter than before. Just like, like just on our screen, this looks a lot brighter than I'm used to. I don't know if that's actually different, but it, I don't know. It either. looks a lot nicer. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> All right. But anyway, getting into it. Uh, Rutsy Teen already starting off with an amazing lead. Alamai's kind of been in the corner the whole game already. Finally yeah. getting something for himself. Yeah, fighting off here with some projectiles, preventing Red 16 from getting in. Nice cross-up dash attack. Unfortunately, he will be punished. Yeah. I think with a character like Roy against me, Gunner, you're, like, you're obviously going to be have to approaching as Roy. But me Gunner really benefits from having his pattern and then trying to like anti air you or see how you're coming in. But with a character that has uh, fast falling speed, it really lets Roy mix up his approaches with like tomahawks. His short hops don't go in the air that much, so anti airing is harder and mix up what he's doing on the ground. So I think he has a lot more approach options in yeah. the in a matchup like this. No, absolutely. And uh, Alibi playing a really aggressive uh, Mii Gunner here by the looks of it. You know, from previous Mii Gunners that I've seen, it's very very defensive, but he doesn't seem to be afraid. Yeah, he, Alibi has some tricks I have not seen any other Mii Gunner do. He has some very creative options, but then he also has neutral B. Yeah, and speaking of, taking out that first stock here on Red 16 and still racking up some extra credit. Indeed. We're going to have to see how... Uh, Al not Alibi. Red can actually find this stock, especially against zoners. You really got to not be too impatient when you need to be finding that stock. Yeah, finally mid, getting the hit there. Yeah, just off the missed tech, but Alibi did rack up 63 and climbing. Yep, and Red 16, let's see if he can start off how we did last stock, though. Get that nice early percent. Right, got the back air follow up into grab, up air. Yep, and we're looking about even now. Yeah. Alibi back in the center stage, catching the landing with the F smash. Absolutely. Red's Great stall. Stage, yep. Ooh. That's one of his tricks he does, uses the forward air to maneuver himself around and get off stage quicker. That was nice. Oh, I love the shield stalls as well. That is really, really good. Something Red 16 is going to have to keep an eye out for, as well as up smash out of shield from Alibi. Yeah, Alibi is a big up smash out of shield user, or just up smash in general. Back air, yeah. That's the wolf blood there. Pulling out jumps <laughs> with back airs, especially out of like forward throw. He does a lot. It's like, that, that's the wolf blood. Yeah. I right, got down throw up air into maybe another one. Nope. I'm stalling with that down B, though. It's Alibi, but he's going to get no his jump. landing caught. All right, Alibi trying to fight off ledge. He's going to roll back up tilt. Not going to connect. I'm not finding these grabs that he's looking for. Oh, I like that. A little sneaky uh, up air. Yeah, but Red 16 keeping him at ledge. Just hit by hit, sending him back off. Eventually, it'll get the kill, and that's all you really need. Yeah, really great patience here from Red 16. Not rushing his edge guard. Re Looking maybe for an F tilt. Oh. Oh, goes for the jab bear instead of just an F smash. Alibi getting his lucky stars that he's alive here, but is he going to be able to actually do anything? He's just been at ledge for so long here. Finally gets back to center stage. Again, Red forcing him now into the other corner, although Alibi fighting off the right side. And then catching the dash back. And get up attack. Yep, Alibi still alive here. Unsafe dash attack on shield. He is going to get forward throat for his troubles. He's just doing neutral getup. I feel like neutral getup like every time. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's it's really interesting as B Gunner. You don't have a lot of options on ledge. Plus, with you're getting out frame dated by Roy, it's really really hard. Yeah, but even still, just like getup attacker roll if you don't want to be put into the air. I feel like there's so many neutral getups there. Yeah, but we're gonna be going to Northern Cave apparently for game two. Yeah, I like this choice here from Alibi. It gives him a lot more space to work with projectiles if he does opt to slow it down. I think he changed one of his moves. Oh, okay. I think we're 3-1-3-3 three, three, three instead of 3-3-3-3, three, 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 which I think is the flame pillar. Okay. Oh, I've never seen anyone use that. Okay. Yeah, I and mean, he was messing around with it before at a few. Yep, there it is. We got a change in move set here. It's I do like me players that uh, counter pick move sets because definitely some me's will just pick the one they like the most. But Alibi, not afraid to switch it up. All right, Alibi going for up throw up air. Okay. We waited so long in that grab. He's like, wait, I got it? <laughs> Is like, that what? hit? <laughs> What's the flow chart here? Yeah. <laughs> got no platforms here. I don't think the platforms played too much of a game last time, though. But uh, maybe the platforms will help Alibi at ledge, give him some more options. Catching the landing on the platform there with the back air. First yeah. off for Alibi. Definitely. Alibi off to a much better start this game. Only got 60 or 56%, excuse me. Yep. Yeah. 
All We're just right. seeing a lot of just run in, immediately do a move here from Red. He really needs to be mixing it up a bit more. But finally getting there, doing a landing aerial. All right, Flame Pillar. Okay, aware dodge, but not quite going to be punished by Alibi. Yeah. I'm getting the air dodge through him. Oh, I still alive. Gonna retreat off stage and just go back to ledge. Yeah. Oh, that instant wall jump. Oh. That was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that's a re grab. Oh, What's Messed something do? up there. Gonna go up and through the platform, fainting the landing. Tricky recovery there from Alibi. F smashing Red 16 off the left side here. Yep. He wants the back there, but he doesn't want to just hit the shield and let Red get out. But Red did find his way back to center stage and neutral air. Yeah, I like that option. Him. Really, really smart option there from Red 16, realizing back air not quite probably going to reach. Yeah. And then read the jump, but Alibi doesn't hold in on the whole jump. And we're back to evenish almost already, despite the huge lead from Alibi. Roy's yeah. early combos are devastating. I'm wondering, does Roy jab hit at ledge? Is that, is that a it thing? It does. I don't think it gives you the pop up into back air, though. F smash is going to do it. Okay. But, like, it just kind of hits them like sideways and slightly down. Gotcha. Okay. I think. Gonna retreat to the platform. Red finding his way back to some oh stage. Reads the spot dodge. Oh my goodness! Yeah, rock all out there from Red 16. Going to be rewarded. However, he is still down by about 43%. Yeah, Flame Miller really hasn't done much this match. You know what? Stage, go. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say. You know what? At the beginning, it did spacing it pretty well. But then, yeah, you haven't really seen much of his second or third stock. Yeah, but he does still have the lead by a few percent here. Up smash is gonna. Attack on some more. I feel like we have not seen nearly as many grabs. What the heck was that? <laughs> we haven't seen nearly as many grabs from Red 16, I think is a really big thing. And especially like in doubles, he was playing very grab heavy. There's so many less happening now. Oh, I don't like that option there. Oh, yeah. and it was a re-grab. Close 2-0. It was pretty close, yeah. Close, close 2-0. I don't think the down air there was the option that Alibi should have gone for. I mean, hindsight's 20-20, right?